tis me, tis all. No, but um, <laughs> I'm more serious. No, hello, my name is Aaron, and today I'm showing you all how to cut a crease. I see that a lot of you are quite fans of cut creases, and a lot of you want to know how to do them because I put up on Snapchat a while ago, you know what kind of snap tutorials would you want to see and a lot of the requests were for a cut crease um, and I've done that on snapchat, I've done a snap tutorial but as you know you only have two seconds and you can't really get everything done on snapchat because you have to hold the camera and it just doesn't really work out that well so I thought I would come on here and do it for you it's kind of like your warm orange and mustard on top with a splash of bright pink underneath um, with a nude lip of course um, so obviously I want a few shades a few shades darker on the face so don't comment I know it doesn't match me it's not supposed to I just want to be bronze and tan because I'm transparent you know gotta understand so please don't comment about the color and I'm not bringing it down my neck because I never got time for that shit. So, if you want to find out how to get this cut crease, then uh, be sure to keep on watching. No, I'm <laughs> um, But, if you do want to find out how to get this, and you've done everything apart from the brush, um, then be sure to keep on watching. But first, before I go, um, add me on Snapchat. It'll be here on somewhere on the screen. Um, I'm really, really active on Snapchat, so I do Snap tutorials, I talk about looks. Y'all see me posing whenever I do a look, like, ooh, ooh, when the beat drops. That was me. Um, so yeah, add me on there if you want to see my face every day of your life. <laughs> yeah, um, so be sure to keep on. Okay, so we're going to be starting with a mix of jam and mustard from the Venus 2 palette. Blend it well into the crease, the Suiva 224, and then diffusing it then with a soft, clean blending brush. And then I'm going to end with jam on its own just to deepen it up a little bit. Not too much, we want it to be kind of soft. And then we're going to end it with the MAC Slight <laughs> Cover Up Concealer in the shade NW. Or NC15, just to cut that crease, you know, and then paint below the lid. I can't speak. I make sure it's well, nice and sharp, and then I'm setting it with some of the setting powder, and then going over all that with some white shadow just to brighten it up. Then I'm going in with some glitter glue and putting the Le Cosmetics Margarita glitter over top. And next we're smoking a vibrant pink from Makeup Studio under the lash line and then smoking it out. Keeping the waterline free of anything. Now we're going in with the FLV2 primer from Makeup Atelier Paris. Just to give that luminous glow underneath the foundation. I literally love that for this stuff. Blend it all over the face. And now for foundation, clearly it's too dark for me, but that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be very bronzed. Um, I'm using the Makeup Atelier Paris Waterproof Foundation in the shade 3Y. It's unreal for oily recombination skin. I love it. And of course it has good coverage. Next we're going to end with the Collection Concealer. Just to brighten the highlighted areas of the face. So under the eyes, chin, lips, nose and the centre of the forehead. Blend it out with the Real Techniques sponge, beauty sponge, whatever. Still blending, you know, I'm still sitting here. <laughs> now we're baking under the eyes with the Think of Forever Super Matteless Powder in the shade number one. And then lightly set in the whole face. Obviously it's too dark, that's what I'm showing here, so please, just ignore that. We that. 
Noria and bronze and slash contour on the skin with the hello bronzer. And sharpening that up with the lip powder again. Same the other side and then bronze on the forehead. And again sharpening that up with the spider. Now I'm going to end with the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion number no. 2 highlighter on the tip the cupid's bow, um, the cheekbones and then I went in on the nose but I didn't record the part sorry. Now the Inglot Sparkling Dust in the shade number no. 2, this is life, you all need it, it's so good. Now we're lining the lips with the Makeup Studio number no. 14 lip liner. This is great for any type of nude lipstick. And of course, got it over the eye and then let's get them curly lips. Now we're filling in the lips with OCC Lip Tar and Interlace. Um, and that's really it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn some stuff for it, from it. And I'll see y'all later. So, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see y'all next time. Goodbye.